More than two weeks after a gunman shot and killed seven people in Half Moon Bay, family and friends paid their respects today to the youngest victim of that shooting, 43-year-old Ye Tao Bing. Friends say the husband and father of two young children worked in the mushroom farm as an expert technician. Crown Forest Teresa Stasio talked with a family friend who shared a message from his grieving wife. Her own word. And then she said, um, both being and I did nothing wrong to anyone in the world. And uh, all we know is work hard. And uh, why did this happen to us? And then she just kept saying that. Make me hard to pray. Mei Xiao is a family friend. She spoke to me from China, reflecting on the death of 43-year-old Ye Tao Bing two weeks ago in the Half Moon Bay mass shooting. He's, I still vividly remember his smile. And it just very kind of, you know, he, he would, he would tilt it his head and then he would smile and, and they're just so cute. Xiao said that everyone called him Brother Bing because he was always helping out. The first one at the greenhouse and the last one to leave. So worked very, very hard. But he's a very simple, honest man, you know, just hardworking. Xiao says that Bing started working at the Terra Gardens facility less than a year ago, leaving his wife and two children in New Jersey. Xiao says that he had planned a family trip to China next week, which would have been the first time for his four-year-old. On Wednesday, a service was held in Half Moon Bay. Small um, ceremony, just say farewell to him, but they will need to bring him back to China, have formal, um, you know, funeral. Xiao says that she is speaking up to help raise money to have Bing's body sent to China, as well as to help his children and father, who has cancer. The reason I, I want to do this interview, you know, so he won't die in vain. You know, we just want the whole world to know Bing. He's a great man. He's a great family. And Teresa Estacio, Cronfor News.